Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, what a pop from the crowd as this guy makes the walk. Such a well-rounded fighter, and you got to think when the opponent breaks him down on film, not a lot of weaknesses jump out of the video. This is a true mixed martial artist. May not stand out in any one area, but plus skills across the board. Probably comfortable just about anywhere this fight goes tonight. This guy is very well-rounded. He literally has no weaknesses in his game. He is technical in all areas of mixed martial arts. So here is Conor McGregor making the walk once again, the only simultaneous two-division champion in UFC history, and really a guy who has taken the sport by storm. His win over Jose Aldo, Nate Diaz, most recently Eddie Alvarez. Remarkable what McGregor has accomplished in a short time in the UFC. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan favorite combination. for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. More than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Air Canada Center in Toronto, Canada. It's time! I win in the UFC Welterweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 63 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Rome, Italy, a warrior. And now with his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 21 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Rome, You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make I it am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time, and it is going to go fight. down right, right. now. Yeah. Well, these Canadian fans, known for arriving early and leaving late, they have packed the building tonight as we get underway here at Air Canada Center in Toronto, Ontario. Good defense there. That one hurt. Fainting. Slips that left hand. Oh, nice. Rock him, suck him out of the shoot here. Yeah, he's getting lit up here. He, he landed a left hand there. And a right behind it. And he eats a high one. He got tagged there. Blocks the shot. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Gotta find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the 
center lock. And he lands the roundhouse. Oh, that'll send your head sideways. Vicious uppercut. And now, oh, this could be it right here. Oh, big left hand. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the bottom. Trying to pass there, but he gets stopped. Big punch from the bottom. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw off that. Staying busy here, you'd like to see that, Joe. Nicely done, reversal. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Oh, Hit him hard with that there. Oh, Ooh, that'll make right an impact hand. on the judges. Huge right hand. Big Beautiful body, body shot. shot there, too. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. How about that chin? Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the oh. left hand coming back. Oh. He's in trouble, he's in trouble. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Nice head kick. Left hand lands flush over the top. Transition to the back. Half guard. In the full mount. Lands a good shot from the bottom. He's got to protect himself from the ground and pound, though. Nice punch there by McGregor. He hip escapes from the full mount. Very nice sweep. Back up. Leg kick checked effectively there by McGregor. Look at that jab. Nice. Man, oh, nailed him. This could be it. Oh. He's picking it up. Man, this is should have been tested early. He's got his back. He's got him flattened out. He's got him flattened out here. The next with a right. Again, again he gets the back. Sixty seconds now to go in the fight. Covering up, doing an excellent job of stopping the ground pound. Big punch from the bottom. Oh, this is some good ground and pound here as he lands the elbow up top. Excellent ground and pound here, not giving his opponent any breaks. Lands a strike there. Hip escape, nice hip escape. He's trying to pass here. Beautiful reversal. He moves to full guard here. Beautiful job defending the position, nice. First round winding down here. Well, certainly looking at a 10-8 after that round, maybe even a 10-7, courtesy of the multiple knockdowns. Massive round there from Conor McGregor. Complete total dominance, and man, did he put a beating on his opponent. Amazing that the fight wasn't stopped. And here, another clean shot lands, and another knockdown. Several near awesome. fight okay. ending moments in that Three, round. Lots of action. Almost ready to... The original Ariane Celeste. Good to have her in the building as usual. Ready to fight. Ready. Round two on the way. Now, starting off this round, he might still be hurt. He's going to want to look to be defensive and move and avoid getting hit 
there and try to recover. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice. Nice right hand. Back to the body shots, Joe. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing that together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time. That's a nice clean shot. Accurate uppercut that got him the win. Yeah, Joe, just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Let's see it one more time from a different angle. Look at the power in this left as it shuts the lights out. Look at this. Crank right on the jaw. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 11 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, the no Well, doubt this man at your own peril. The notorious Conor McGregor gets his hand raised yet again. You see the celebration is on with his chief corner, John Kavanaugh. A massive, massive moment in a career that has had so many of them for the notorious Conor McGregor. Going to be interesting to see how he moves forward.